my friends, and welcome to the Thomas Darling Preserve here in the Pocono Mountains of Pennsylvania. We're in Toby Hanna Township here to explore this 2.2 mile trail through some remnant glacial wetlands and what is said to be one of Pennsylvania's most well-preserved and intact spruce forests. The trail is beginning on this beautiful boardwalk. It's early fall, crisp morning, and this place looks really cool. Lots of interesting plants. Let's check it out. couple observations about the trail here so far as I had read online it is very muddy of course that should be expected when you're traveling through a swampy uh, wetland area uh, but there's a very lovely diversity of trees and uh, different plants the Thomas Darling Preserve here is a about 2,500 acres of preserved land. It's a combination of various conservation agencies and private property and conservation easement. And the significance of this place really is that it represents what the Pocono region looked like for thousands of years before it was developed. It's always been a very wet area due to the period of glaciation about 12,000 years ago. And we should be heading towards some more uh, swamps and a, a pond, I believe, soon. The preserve here is bisected by a power line right of way. And the trail is taking us through there now. And there's some kind of dog barking off in the distance. The parking area for this trail is on a dead end road, but uh, there are a few houses back there. were standing right along two mile run and I came across this huge white pine. My stick is uh, over four feet in length and I'd say it's at least three feet thick here at the base. Uh, a measurement used to uh, determine the size of trees, one of the measurements is called DBH, uh, diameter at breast height. So you, you take a measurement at about four to five feet off the ground and uh, that's a huge one. All right, my friends, the trail has now brought us out to this beautiful wetland section. And this is really the type of landscape I was hoping to find here. 
it looks absolutely wild. I know we're not in the wilderness, but it's got that, that beautiful raw feel. I'm seeing lots of uh, tinges of red in the maples and in some of the other uh, heath plants here. It's absolutely beautiful. here now and it's gotten real quiet and this place has some of the biggest ferns I've ever seen and they're turning this beautiful golden color we just passed a tree stand so just a reminder hunting is permitted here I have to say I'm very impressed with the habitat here at Thomas Darling Preserve. It's got a little bit of everything. It's exactly the kind of trail I like to walk on. One knock on it, as I had said before, it is a muddy trail. You have to keep that in mind, but that comes with the terrain. One other thing I'd like to point out, the trail here is very easy to follow. It's very well blazed with these uh, bluish green rectangles. I had red. As some people had had trouble following the path, but I'm finding it very easy and very obvious here. So that's a plus. All right, seeing a lot of these signs on the trail now. As we're beginning to make our way uh, back to the car, and as I believe I had said earlier, this Thomas Darling Preserve is a combination of protected lands and also uh, like private property that's being conserved, but it's still private property. So they ask that you please stay <clears throat> on the trail.
said in the past, I'm a big fan of these uh, smaller type nature preserves because they're kind of off the radar and they're much less traveled. They may not be deep in the wilderness, but you do get a nice quiet nature experience and they usually are protected because they have a special, you know, significance uh, environmentally or ecologically. And, uh, you know, as I've said before, you don't have to go really deep. Sometimes you can find cool places uh, relatively close to you. Nature, adventure, discovery. That's what we're all about here on this channel. Okay guys, well the trail has now taken us uh, to the power line clearing again and I think from this point it's going to be a short road walk back to the car. But I'm not 100% sure because I've never been here. But um, I'll let you know soon. All right, well, I believe that's gonna be it, my friends. Um, Thomas Darling Preserve in Topiahanna Township in the Pocono Mountains of Pennsylvania. Uh, that wetland area was absolutely beautiful and uh, worth coming here just for that alone. Um, thank you for coming along on another adventure. I appreciate you. And I thank everyone who has subscribed and who watches and, and who comments. And if you do have any comments or questions, please be sure to ask me. I respond to all messages that are related to the videos, of course. And uh, that's gonna do it for today. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. And uh, thanks a lot, guys. Take care. Gator out.